Okay, so like uh, we do a uh, course in miracles here, and uh, there's a lesson from a course in miracles, which is uh, you don't have to use the word God. You can use the word source or anything if you it's not right or or any any word or whatever it is. It doesn't matter. The words are not important. But it, we sort of say God. God did not create it, so it's not real. Or you could say that the source did not create it, so it's not real. So a anything that's created in separation, uh, anything that's created which is not in the infinite source, uh, you, you can say it's not real, because in truth, if you're in the source, these things do not exist. So they, they, they don't exist in the, in, in the source. So um, my spiritual teacher, Dr. Dr. Hawkins, he, he let go, he had 23 physical illnesses. And he did the Course in Miracles, and especially Lesson 14. Mm -hmm. You know, God did not create it, so it's not real, or I cancel my belief in it. I'm an infinite being. So, when you when you cancel the idea that when you, when you cancel the idea that these things do not exist, then that thing within the ego that was creating it for you, the experience of it, disappears. And what what was found was that. Uh, a lot of my illnesses disappeared, you know, like uh, uh, all my illnesses disappeared. Like the uh, gout, the asthma, uh, the kidney failure, you know, they were all removed because I just cancelled. Because in the source, in the infinite, they do not exist. But when your ego holds them in mind, then they can, they can manifest, they, they are created. So you can, uh, you can uh, cancel your belief in anything. You know what the course says is that you know the the collective the collective of humanity is just all the collective negative beliefs that are that have programmed us as a, as a collective. So they're all fear-based ideas of separation, of fear around money. The course has a really lovely lesson where it says like you believe in medicine, you believe in the laws of money. You believe in all of those things, but really, it's this. You know, your security relies on, on the source. You know, it's not you know, money is not the thing that keeps you safe on a daily basis. Um, medicine is not the thing that keeps you safe. Now, this is quite high spiritual teachings. The course would refer I'm not against using magical things, but the course, but they are they are magical, meaning that you know, like uh, if uh, if a doctor gives you a medicine. You, you've, all, you've all heard of the placebo, placebo effect. You know, if, if, if a, a doctor gave you a sugar, sugar pill and said it's 100% guaranteed, would it? So, I mean, the course tells you that, that that's just because, that's due to magical beliefs. Mm -hmm. And you can go straight to, you can go straight to God to mm -hmm. release, release your beliefs. Then you don't have to pay like a hefty, you know, hefty bills for, for mm -hmm. whatever, this, that and the other. So as you release them from your mind, you know, uh, uh, often miracles happen. So, it's to realize, like, if anyone's had a spiritual experience, yeah. you know, you're in an infinite, eternal, timeless place. And that's the truth. So when you're in your ego, you experience things which are in limitation, which are of limitation and fear. So if you cancel those things, you're only going to go to a higher vibration. Now, the, um, so, uh, and that has been my experience, as you let go, I mean this would be the whole thing with forgiveness. If you completely forgive something, then you completely forget about it, it's gone. It no longer blocks your consciousness, you can be at peace. So it's 100% letting go. Like, a ca a can you know, to cancel it, it does not exist. For me it's even more powerful, because I think, you know, for me forgiveness has the connotations of there's a separate me having to forgive a separate other. But, uh, so it's, it's got a kind of a dualistic connotation to it. So it's like the, the world of separation and fear is real. Whereas, you know, a much higher vibration is God did not create it, so it's not real. So God did not create, God did not create fear, it's not real. You know, really, God did not create separation, it's not real. You know, God did not create a world of separate people in fear. You know, it's not real. God did not create cancer, illness, poverty, all of these things. 
yeah. and as you as you release those because it has a kind of um, it, for me it's, it's a very very powerful thing to just totally refute it with it from a non dualistic perspective so it's very very powerful um, to, to let go of things um, okay